And then some breaking news that's coming in. Uh, Tamil Nadu is gearing up uh, for Cyclone Nivar. Now, Prime Minister has reviewed the cyclone preparedness and uh, PM Modi has assured uh, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister of all possible support. Uh, he, in fact, spoke to the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister assuring that all possible support to Tamil Nadu will be provided uh, for this, uh, to deal with the cyclone Nivar. Meanwhile, uh, Tamil Nadu braces to sort of uh, face Cyclone Nevar, uh, likely to cross the Tamil Nadu and Puducherry coasts over the next 24 hours. It is expected to turn into a severe cyclonic storm with a wind speed of 100 to 120 kilometers per hour. The cyclone is likely to make a landfall between uh, Karaikal and uh, Malapuram, Ma Mamalapuram by tomorrow evening. The NDRF has deputed 30 teams uh, for relief operations. Uh, seven districts have been put on an alert. Bus services have also been suspended and people have been advised to stay indoors for the next 48 hours. Uh, those are the details that we have at this point in time as far as uh, Cyclone Nivar is concerned. Uh, so there are 30 teams uh, which have been deputed uh, for relief operations. Pramod is joining us for more details. Pramod, if you can help us understand, uh, you know, what are the kind of warnings that have been put out for the cyclone uh, and also what are the kind of preparations in place? Absolutely. The name Nivar apparently has been given by the Iranian, like, you know, the Iran, uh, and uh, it actually means brightness. And this cyclone is almost 450 kilometers, like, you know, outside uh, in, in the sea east of Chennai and it is expected to make a landfall just like you mentioned between Mamalapuram which is 44 kilometers from Chennai to Karakal which is 282 kilometers and even now predictions are underway where exactly the landfall is going to be but seven districts are, are have been given red alert which also in, like you know includes uh, Pudukote, Pudukote and such and in those areas just like you mentioned around 1 p.m. onwards like public transportation will be halted the chief minister has very clearly mentioned and requested requested the people to be safe and not to uh, like you know uh, uh, and to avoid any un uh, unnecessary travels and uh, people from low lying areas weak buildings have been also moved to shelters storm shelters in that area the like, government claims have already been kept ready with adequate food supply and water supply as well just like you mentioned ndrf teams are also on the ground this is occurring almost on the northern part of tamil nadu so rescue operations currently are is uh, like you know centered in, the, in those areas and also the state has mentioned that that in all those areas, uh, like uh, backup teams also ready to make sure that if there is any damage to electric power supply, that would be restored as soon as possible and such. All right, uh, Pramod, thank you so much for joining us uh, with all of those details.